Welcome on another Fishy Friday and today is going to be a great day because I have a special, special guest which is Pauline. Yes. And Pauline is a big food blogger here in the Netherlands. Uh, she's writing wonderful, beautiful cookbooks um, like this one. This is your second book, Pauline. Yeah. And yep. uh, we're going to make a delicious seafood recipe out of your book, which yeah. is going to be... We're going to make sea bream from the oven with some couscous on the side. So let's kick off. So Pauline, step number one. Yeah, we're going to score the fish. Yep. And we're okay. going to fill the gaps with some garlic. Shall I cut some veggies for you? Yes, please. The lemon in wedges, in slices? Slices, please. Slices. Not okay. too big. Um, okay, so now you've scored the fish. Yeah. Next yeah. step. And we're going to season it. Season it. Just with some salt and pepper. Okay, guys, so this is sea bream. Um, you can find sea bream wild uh, in the season, for example, at the Mediterranean. But um, they have great farmed sea bream too. But if you buy it, make sure you buy it from an organic source. Um, you have also an eco label for uh, uh, farmed fish, which, which is the ASC. Um, the, the, the important thing with farmed fish, actually already 52% of the world consumption is farmed fish. So it's the majority already. Um, but we should take care on farmed fish too. Farmed fish is good for our future, but we need to take care as with wild fish. Okay, so we have seasoned the fish yeah. with salt and pepper. I have here some lemon yeah. uh, uh, slices for you. Some garlic? Yes, please, in thin slices. Thin slices, good. And this I put already in the belly. One garlic glove? Yeah, that's enough. Some fennel? Some fennel, also in thin slices. I take out the bitter part, the hard part. Yeah, that is really tasty. I fill the gaps with the garlic. Good. And the fennel, oh, that's that's enough. We're going to put this in the belly and then we only need some fresh herbs for in the belly. Okay, some parsley? Yeah, but we don't have to chop it. We can just... Yeah. If you use dill or tarragon, for example, you really need to be careful. Yeah. It gives you something to your dish, but if you give too much, you, it will overwhelm the yeah. taste of the, of the seafood. But we're going to use just yeah, a bit of... Yeah, little bits. Like yeah. this? Yeah. Good. And you don't eat this in raw, you put it just in the fish for so the aromas can go in the fish. It will be all these flavors yeah. going around. Delicious. Some oil? Yeah, some oil of oil in the, Should in the I help oven you with dish. The... And I'm going to lay the fish in and I always turn it so that all the sides exactly. are covered exactly. with olive oil. And then I put some extra lemon on the top. Nice. That looks beautiful, guys. This already. I love it already this way, but of course we're going to uh, bake it. We bake it in an oven of, uh, which is preheated on 180 degrees Celsius, which is Fahrenheit. Around 360. Um, and we're going to have it in the oven for 18 minutes. If your fish is a bit bigger, this is 400 gram. If it's a bit bigger, bigger uh, a few minutes extra. And meanwhile, we're going to make this side dish, which is going to be a couscous. So I'm boiling here some stock. like 200 grams of couscous and what I'll do right now is add my stock. This is chicken stock, feel free to use vegetable stock too. And I'm going to add until all the couscous is like swimming in the stock like this. Uh, I'm going to top it off with a lid and I give it like five, maybe seven minutes. Yeah. This is your second book, right? Yeah, right. And your first book did amazing. Yeah, I sold over 100,000 copies. But this is the second book of Pauline, which says out Pauline's Keuken. It's out of Pauline's kitchen. Yeah. And uh, guys, it's really, it's really nice. It's all about quick and easy food. Healthy sometimes. And sometimes very unhealthy because I always like her. I also like cream, butter and Great. sometimes yeah. sugar. <laughs> as long as it's in balance, it's yeah. gonna be all right. Okay, so the couscous, we gave it like, well, what was it, six, seven minutes. Um, so now it's it's quite firm. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to do is I um, well I make it loose. It. Yeah. Uh, while stirring with a fork. First some Bit salt, of salt, some pepper. Pepper. Some olive oil. Olive oil. For about one tablespoon. Also put some lemon zest and yeah. some uh, lemon juice in it. Okay. Like the zest for half a lemon and okay, also good. the juice of half a lemon. Now we can stir in the veggies and okay. the herbs. So we have mm. the paprika, yeah. we have we the onion. 
the parsley and the fennel. So the fennel we use also for the sea bream. We're not, now also you're going to use it for the couscous. Lovely colors, lovely. Okay, so couscous, we give it a, yeah, we give it a try. Of course. Guys, it's so important. If you be, try to balance a sauce or a salad, uh, taste first for yourself because be, uh, before you go to serve it to your guest. Hmm. I think it's perfect. Really good. Good. So we're going to play it up. Okay, so we did a couscous, great. Um, let check. Fish is ready. Fish is ready. Okay, so we take it out of the oven. Look at this, Pauline. Oh, it looks perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so how do you want to have it served? On top of the couscous. Okay, great. Yeah. It's time for a taste. Yeah. Right? Wow, it looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. The colors are amazing. There okay. You go. So it comes off easily from the bone, which is also an indication that your fish is perfectly cooked. Wow, Pauline, thank you for this amazing, delicious recipe out of your wonderful cookbook. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, any comments to Pauline, to me, leave them down in the box below. If you like this video, give it your thumbs up. If you want to see a delicious uh, red, red fish in salt crust, you should visit Pauline's channel. And that's not the only reason, because Pauline has many beautiful videos there. You should subscribe to her channel at the end of this video. Um, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, Pauline. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, guys, hope to see you soon back on another Fishy Friday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>